This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Every part of my body, even my legs, I have to use in order to work this whole mechanism. And it's like hard to concentrate on pedaling the bike, steering, and trying to keep the bike straight at the same time. A simple device is helping an incredible young man live out his dream of riding a bicycle this summer. WTN's Dina Bear has that story ahead in our next half hour. On the Medical Watch, a boy and a bike. It's simple. A 13-year-old who wants to spend the summer out riding with his buddies. But for Tim Bannon, it's a bit more complicated. I really wanted, since I was like about, I'd say seven, a real bike. My grandfather on my mom's side actually just gave me a regular normal bike out of the trash, like a recycled bike, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. My dad likes to go around and collect items that he sees in the trash that he doesn't think are trash. So when he saw that bike, he brought it over and Tim was looking at it and he was like, we gotta figure out some way that I can ride that bike. I could do this for hours. Tim has always wanted to do everything that everybody else has done. And this summer for Tim Bannon? That was a sharp turn that I did right there. That includes riding a bike. It's a dream his mom, Linda, understands deeply. Both share the same genetic condition. They were born without arms. And just like her son, Linda has always wanted to ride a bicycle, too. As a kid growing up, my sister and my cousins and I used to try and figure out ways that I could just hop on any of their bikes and take off like they did. Okay. <laughs> Since I kind of grew up knowing how it felt to miss out on that, when Tim says, that's what I really want, I was like, well, we'll have to figure out how we can make that happen. I've been dreaming of this moment for, like, ever. <laughs> India Jacobson makes prosthetic arms and legs and special braces for kids at Shriners Hospital for Children in Chicago. But Linda and Tim asked her to make something else, a device that would allow him to steer a bike. The materials she needed weren't in her workshop. I went to Home Depot. It consists of PVC pipe, um, very simple really, We uh, and Velcro. We just kind of speedy riveted everything together with some, some chafes that swivel a little bit. It was a really fun day. There's a lot of things that he faces, challenges and things that we can't figure something out. So when there's something that we can figure out a way to make it happen, we don't want to pass that up. Linda has spent a lifetime mastering her movement from simple to complex tasks. That's why in a matter of seconds, she can attach Tim's custom made torso brace. Now for your helmet. Just one component of his biking device. From there, it's up to Tim to delicately maneuver the flexible straps so that he can slide the PVC pipes onto the bike's handlebars. Oh, gosh. A process that takes several attempts and doesn't come without frustration. Mom, you're going to have to stand here. Okay. Oh. Good. He practices riding at a park across the street from his house. For now, he's using an extra set of wheels for balance. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. Every part of my body, even my legs, I have to use in order to work this whole mechanism. And it's like hard to concentrate on pedaling the bike, steering, and trying to keep the bike straight at the same time. I feel like a real teenage kid that can just hang out with his guys, hang out with his friends. Like I don't have to be the odd man out or be like feeling like I'm the third wheel or something and having to be different than everybody. You may be wondering why Linda and Tim don't use prosthetic arms. They've tried them in the past, but feel they're much more efficient using their feet. Back to you. What a wonderful story. And that look on, on his mom's yeah. face watching him ride that bike was so sweet.